the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, we come today to celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Xavier. St. Francis Xavier, who lived in the 1500s, was one of the first people to join St. Ignatius of Loyola when he founded the Society of Jesus, known commonly as the Jesuits. Following St. Following St. Ignatius, St. Francis, whom we celebrate today, embraced the call to serve everything for God and embraced a life of being a missionary. St. Francis Xavier went as far as India and even to Japan and shared and evangelized the people there, sharing the good news, the gospel of Christ, by being present to the people of the places that he was at. Unable to reach, reach his dream of reaching China and sharing the good news of Christ, St. Francis Xavier nonetheless remains for us an example of what it means to be a missionary, to be a disciple of Christ and sharing the good news everywhere we go. And so as we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Xavier today, let us prepare ourselves to receive Christ into our hearts by acknowledging our sins and asking our Lord for his mercy and his forgiveness. We were sent to hear the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. He came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, in the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. 
Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today in our Gospel, we are, we are presented with something that should catch our attention and should call, to, call us to attention in the midst of our relationship with God. In our first line of our Gospel today, Jesus tells his disciples and tells us that not everyone who calls him Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. That is, not everyone who just says that Jesus is Lord, not any, and not everyone who professes that Jesus is Christ will necessarily enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because we recognize that it is not enough to just say that Jesus is Lord. It's another thing entirely to live that out in the midst of our life. Jesus gives us a fulfillment of that in presenting the parable today. In the parable of the two houses, one built on rock, one built on sand. Both built houses, both owners built houses, but it was the way in which those houses were constructed that allowed the house to remain either standing or to collapse completely. So too is our relationship with God. All of us know we need to have a relationship with God. All of us here in our Catholic faith profess and believe in our Lord. But do we truly take that into our lives and do we truly live that out should be the next question for us. All of us can claim and all of us can say, Lord, Lord, to our Lord. But is that enough for us to enter into the kingdom of heaven? Are we truly living out the witness of our life in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions of everything that we do? Or are we merely acting like disciples of Christ instead of living as disciples of Christ? The parable that we are presented with today is an invitation for us to look inside of ourselves and see what is our foundation. Is it a foundation that is set firmly in our Lord, or is it a foundation that can shake and move around because we have not cemented ourselves in Christ? Today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, who built a firm foundation in Christ and sought to bring others to find a relationship with God and to live that calling out as well, may we, in this season of Advent, as we prepare ourselves to receive Christ into our lives, embrace this calling, embrace this reminder that it is not enough just to say that Jesus is Lord, but that we need to live out this message and demonstrate and show to others that Jesus is our Lord in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions every day. And so with faith and confidence in our loving God, we bring to him our prayers and our petitions today. And so we pray for our church. May we continue to embrace every opportunity to remain rooted in our relationship with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to pray for our country, for our nation. May we embrace every opportunity to be examples of peace and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all missionaries around the world that on this memorial of St. Francis Xavier, the patron saint of missionaries, that all missionaries may be strengthened in their calling to share the good news of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, all those who are in need of healing. May the Lord give them strength and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us, May they come to share in the gift of God's eternal reward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today for the needs and intentions of Terry and Frank Rojo, for the repose of the soul of William Ferguson, and for the repose of the soul of Paul Ouellette, for whom this Mass is being offered. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the quiet of our hearts, spoken aloud wherever we are, we bring to our God our own prayers and petitions today. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-loving God, you have called us to remain deeply in love of you. Listen to the prayers we bring before you as we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that, as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may, with our brothers and sisters, eagerly hasten towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirits. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, 
and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier, whom we honor today, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. And peace be with you all. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity, 
with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that, walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well, who, to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.